Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, here you see that I'm taking a stencil that I just cut out myself and I'm going around her face getting some sharp um, contrast there between the hair and the, her, her skin line. And you can find, like I said before, um, there's a lot of freehand stencils that you can like go online and just type in freehand air stencil airbrush stencils and a lot of uh, different clip arts will come up you can resize those in a photo program and then print them off then you can take uh, that print off cut it out and draw around some marli sheets or I've even used the, like I said before, on Walmart, you know, the um, solid color placemats that are plastic. You can use those to cut out around there and use those as stencils. And you can purchase them also, but you know, if you cut them out yourself, it saves some money. I do have some ones that I've bought from Drew Blair and, um, and I, I've bought some from Airtool too, so just different ones here and there. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of skulls and things, and I still have those, but I, I don't do skulls anymore. I think the flesh tone color that I'm using here is orange with a drop of um, violet and um, a drop of moss green. And then, uh, of course, you want to thin that with uh, distilled water or airbrush uh, thinner, a one-to-one -one ratio. Again, it's just really light, light coats, and uh, you build up your depth, depths of uh, the the next coat that you put on, and uh, it's always a process of spraying a little paint, coming back in, and erasing in different areas to get texture. You hear my dog in the background. He usually comes with me to the shop. The airbrush that I'm using is a uh, um, PS Creos. You know, I can get a pretty, pretty thin line with this, and I, 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 uh, I have a lot of Awadas too, but I really do like the Creos airbrushes. They're they're really close to the uh, the Micron, and if you're just beginning airbrushing, um, you know, a couple hundred bucks versus four or five hundred bucks for an Awada, it's quite a bit of a difference there. And don't forget if you need to uh, 
print out a photo. It's on the first uh, one. I believe we put it on the second one too. I'll probably put it on this one too, just so um, you guys always have a picture to look under the description. There's a link that you can go to for the photo. And again, I am not going to copy these exactly because I just think that, that that's so restricting to your your creative flow there, you know. Have fun with art. Art is meant to be soothing, comforting. You know, it's you and the piece working together. put some music on here. kind of dusting over her face a little bit. Start laying some color in on her hand there, um, in different areas. One thing good about airbrushing with an airbrush, you always get soft, um, just really soft uh, paint coming out. And it's not so sharp like with a brush. It blends very, very well. always been kind of fascinated by what the airbrush can do and I've been fascinated with what a lot of the old time painters back uh, how they could achieve that back in art history I mean I mean if you think about it um, 
they had they didn't have the same kind of tools and things that we have today and even types of paint and uh how they achieved what they did by the blending and it's just amazing to me i i I have no idea what they did how they did it and and um and it's just it's just awesome how that over the years and years there's just always been creative flow to art and and we want to create as humans you know you know I think about when God first created the earth he he loves creation he loves creating all the time he he never stops because every time a baby is born that's a new creation and uh, he started that by the seed that he planted in Adam so you know um, we were born to create in one way or another whether it be by art whether it be by singing whether it be by acting whether it be by just um creating um energy with your words and encouragement and you know we're all born to create in one way or the other you can't look at a sunset every night and see that it's different and not know that 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 was just like painted in the sky just for this very day You know, if you do a lot of scenery art, too, a good thing to do is just go out and and look at scenery and the way the colors blend together. You know, starting with that flesh color, a little bit on Red's uh, arm here. I still have paint in my brush and... There's no sense in throwing it out when I um, still can use it on uh, hand or face. And my little swirling motions I'm doing there as he has here on his arm. And I'm kind of doing that to, so that that will show up in the background. And then I'll go in and I'll erase, uh, erase some so that you can see some texture there. We need some good, whole, wholehearted, wholesome comedy, like back in the old days. I don't like this new stuff they have out. It just, it's not comedy to me. I think I might be getting a little bit too dark. Sometimes it's good to step away from your work and look at it. See what you're doing wrong. Instead of just staying close up on it all the time.
growing your own things will lead you on in the future. Sorry, I was looking for some music. I'm getting just a sharp line to, um, that I want to, you know, I don't want the overspray going in another area, so I'm spraying. So there's some sharp lines there. And, um, On the cigar, a cigar. <laughs> Any of you guys ever make some funny faces when you paint? I do. I like bite my lips, and I never noticed it before until I seen it in the video. I didn't even know I was doing it. You know how some, and I know when I put mascara on. Um, I open my mouth. <laughs> it's just odd, some of the little things that we do. See, I can see there I'm biting my lip. get myself in the video so I, I don't I can really try to do different with that somehow in the flesh color on this on the cigar and then I'll come back in later on with some sepia and go over that and make it kind of a darker color to get some texture in that cigar and in his hands. I'm sorry that my arm is blocking the camera. videos I got one more that's at this angle and um, I don't really like it because it doesn't give it a a um, long view it's only the short view with the phone so I'm gonna um, try a different way the next one or the next one after the next one I should say Paint, erase, paint, erase. It's just a process. See by me erasing his arm, um, you can already tell that uh, it looks like there's some little hairs down there on his arms that's showing. Oh my. 
I am so sorry, guys. I'm, my arm is blocking the camera, and I... Maybe I should cut that out. Yeah, it's all part of it. I know what I should have done in this piece is put that old hat that Carol Burnett used to wear all the time when she was the mop lady, you know? You guys remember that? She had that old mop and the apron and the hat thing she had on the bonnet. That would have been good. I might add that to this. Hmm. We have to go home. I said that because I just got a package that arrived, popped up on my phone. I'm beginning to put a little color in Carol Burnett's hand that she's holding up, waving, and I'm kind of putting a sharp line um, from where Red Skelton's neck comes down to, so that I could put some. Uh, black color in there. Again, you know, it's better to paint in sections. And I, <gasps> I have such a bad habit of jumping around from here to there. Um, it's just always been what, how I've done it because I... I get bored working in one area, so I jump up to work in another area, and then I, then I come back down to where I was working, and I have it I try to break, but I don't know that I ever will. I must be switching out of color here, guys. So I'm probably coming back with the maybe black. I'm not sure. Can't remember. <laughs> Might hear my dog back there snoring. He's snoring in the background. I call him my little buddy. You guys remember that old show? Um, what do they call it? Gilligan's Island. It was. I watched that a lot when I was a kid. 
and the skipper called Gilligan little buddy so it kind of stuck with me and my dog I call him little buddy And here I'm kind of using that um, cardboard there as a guide for a sharp line on her fingers. I don't want to get the overspray in other areas that I don't want it. And I, you know, I was going to use Frisket on this. And then I changed my mind because I'm basically a freehand artist. I, uh, but I, I do use st some stencils here and there. Um, and if you learn to really work with the airbrush, you can uh, learn how to angle it different ways to really cut back on that overspray and to also let the overspray add to the artwork. So it's, um, it's all your own preference, I guess. Um, it's never been a real issue for me to see a little bit of overspray. But if you're doing um, a real expensive, precise piece, you would want to um, use Frisket. Sorry for the long pause. I don't know what I was doing. Now I'm coming back in. I believe on Carol Burnett's um, face and around her fingers there. And there was a sharp line. I think I'm getting close to being done with the day. I I can tell that I was getting frustrated with myself. And uh, when you start getting frustrated with yourself, and it's time to take a break and step back and 
walk away, come back later. Hey you guys, thanks for watching on my channel and hit the subscribe button and and uh, share. Thank you very much. See you next time.